Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've not been very well and I need to fake it until I make it today. So I thought we could do a let's get ready with me video and I'm also going to be talking about my recent skincare and giving my final thoughts. So if you want to hear more then keep watching. So hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay today. I I am not, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. I've had a bit of a tummy bug and um, I'm still not feeling great today, but I just need to keep going and get lots of work done today. So we're gonna fake it until we make it, as I said in the intro. I need to go from this to something that looks a little bit more presentable. So if you saw my vlog from a few weeks back now, it's still in summer holidays actually, um, I had received my first parcel of Dematica, which is basically a personalized skincare subscription really. And it had just arrived. Um, obviously I've got a discount code for you all to try it. And I was kind of unboxing it and going through the premise of it with you. Um, and I said, if you wanted to hold out and see my honest thoughts as, you know, I've used it and times progress, then look out for a video like this. And this is the one. So it is basically a small doser that you apply every day. I apply it in the evening after I've done all of the rest of my skincare, but before my moisturizer. And first things first i used it not much really happened in terms of say reactions now you will get with products like this a purge and i'm actually going to talk about that because i did have that it was probably a few weeks in and i started to notice some eruption of spots on my nose it was almost like my blackheads were clearing and kind of coming to the surface that happened quite quickly but then I started noticing some dry patches um, and I've taken some clips, you'll see, and you'll also see from the clips that this is not normal for my skin at all. And this is a purging um, due to the ingredients that are in my dose. Um, that's kind of the reaction that you're going to get. And I actually even wrote in to Dematica just as a customer, not, not to their PR, but to their actual team that anybody can access. And I sent some photos and I asked like for advice. I was like, is this normal? I'm still just double checking. I know you say it is. And they gave such great advice about persisting, um, about doing kind of like a barrier layer, putting moisturizer on first and then my Dematica dose. And it did clear up quite quickly, but I wanted you to be, aware that if this happens to you or you hear horror stories like this it's normal and I feel like my skin right now is a good example of what comes afterwards the glow that has come out and honestly like brownie guide on a swear on my heart all of that I have had so many compliments about my skin recently so many compliments to the point where i've actually just saw some stories um just updating people on instagram as to where i've been because i've had a tummy bug not been well as i've said and my mum actually replied was like well your skin looks great though and it's so funny because i'm really starting to notice a difference i am just i'm so pleased now i am post period so there is some remnants i do get a few hormonal spots so you can see this is just hyperpigmentation now but that is one thing i will say when i do get spots the hyperpigmentation is fading so much quicker with dermatica than to what it was like with my previous skincare um so i don't know if you remember but while my skin used to look pretty decent before starting i would still have some blotchiness you know like redness just kind of not very consistent in my skin tone and my skin texture although i still I, had, I was getting a bit of a glow back my breakouts were much more reduced but now i feel like i don't know if you can see and obviously i don't i do have a bit of a pallor to me because i'm not feeling my best but i just feel like my skin is so clear and i'm just feeling so much more I don't know, I, I'm, I'm happy with my skin. I feel like with the skincare that I've got at the moment, I just feel like I'm actually preserving and looking after my skin and hopefully that will last a long time. And I think what I like about it now is that my routine very much goes like a cleanser, 
I always double cleanse. Then I will, um, I've reintroduced my AHA back into my skincare because I do really appreciate that for pores day to day. Then I will add Dermatica and then I will add a hyaluronic acid for, you know, adding plumpness and retaining moisture in the skin. And then I will follow up with a moisturizer. I don't feel like I've seen my skin look like this for a very long time and I'm really, really happy. I'm so chuffed. So fingers crossed that long continues. Um, I'm just feeling really good, but let's get on with some makeup shall we so i've already moisturized and done my spf this morning so i'm going to go in now with my foundation which is going to be the be perfect chroma cover i have this shade m3 which is probably pretty good for me as we're coming into the autumn and winter months it was a little bit light for me over the summer so i stopped using it i'm just going to take one pump of this at first see how far that goes because one thing i've noticed um these days in particular is that i don't really like things to be too heavy and um, this is a medium coverage i'm just adding a little bit more here and i'm really really pleased with the way that it looks on my skin i think it gives a great glow and obviously because my skin is looking better than it used to i kind of want to you know show that off but i really really recommend this foundation as a whole i think it would see a lot of different skin types and i'm just going to use my chloe cosmetics marshmallow sponge to just lightly tap that in you don't want to go too heavy because the heavier you go you're going to lift the product off your skin and this is just nice and damp and helping to blend that in and as you can see it's just kind of adding that last little bit of neutralization just sort of smoothing everything out making me look a little more put together on this poly day <laughs> so that is the foundation on don't you think it's so pretty i i just think it's beautiful i think it's a really really lovely foundation it really really does what i need it to but you'll see there are a few areas that i still need to cover up a little bit so we've just got a bit of hyperpigmentation here from an old breakout and a little bit down here from an old breakout and then obviously my dark circles are just you know showing off today so i'm just gonna pop a little bit in the areas where i feel like i need a little bit more coverage i get a lot of redness around my nose but i think that can be quite common and sometimes I pop a little bit on my chin and then afterwards I'm going to pop some under my eyes. Let's try and brighten up this area because I am, I'm looking tired. I'm looking very tired. So I'm just going to use my finger to lightly pat that into the skin and then I will finish off by just doing a final blend with my marshmallow sponge. I love doing my under eyes because I feel like that's where you can notice the most difference. Excuse my nails, by the way. I know that they're horrendously grown out and this one is broken. Um, I was meant to have my nails done yesterday, but obviously I was not in a fit state <laughs> to be doing that. So I'm going to try and reschedule it for some time this week, hopefully, because they're like claws. They grow so quickly. <laughs> you can't see this, but the dog is just sat staring at me i think what it is is because when i'm talking into the camera and obviously nobody else is around he's like <laughs> what are you saying mum you think i'm talking to you don't you oh you're such a baby oh thank you very much sir he's so cute right go on go get your treat now we're gonna go in and set with a little bit of powder not a lot because um, I don't want to make it too heavy and cakey. Um, so this is the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe powder, which is really good. It's a loose one though, so you do need to um, watch yourself a little bit, especially when you're wearing black, because it, <laughs> it does, it gets everywhere. And I'm using the Trigwell Cosmetics um, powder puff. Um, this was a special limited edition Valentine's one, hence why it's red, but it's normally black. But what I love about this is that you can wash them and they wash so well and they stay in really good condition as well but it's great for sort of passing into the skin and what i'm going to do is just gently pat and set my under eyes take any leftover powder onto my t-zone and i'm really the rest of my face i don't add too much to because obviously we've got 
to contour and this that and the other but it just a it smooths everything out but it also sets it into place in the places where i need it but it's not too heavy because it is a loose powder i feel like i can be more precise with where i put it so that is kind of like my base done but now we're gonna give me some features what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go in with the pink honey contour cake it looks it looks a bit ominous doesn't it this is in s'mores and kisses when i originally bought this when i was a little bit more tanned like say june july time i wasn't convinced that it was probably the right shade for me but as that started to fade off a bit you know autumn winter you know how it goes um i actually do really really like the color um it has that ashier tone which you want in a contour because it doesn't make you look too orange but you obviously do have to go in easy like i'm literally just doing this i'm not smudging it in um because this has a lot of pigment and a little goes a long way so you just want to go slow because otherwise you can sometimes look a bit dirty or muddy um but we're gonna go slow i'm gonna do some blendy 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 blend well just look you see how like i'm getting more shape back in here and then this bit is just do you know what i mean um obviously it's personal preference you don't need to do it but i love makeup and i love skincare and i think i probably always will do but we're gonna go in now with something a little bit extra a nice blush i love blush i absolutely love blush this is the bobby brown pot rouge for lips and cheeks and this is in blush rose and um, this was actually sent to me i will put an asterisk in the description box below of anything that was sent to me so that's nice and clear but obviously I think the products speak for themselves um, in terms of how good they are. So I'm just going to take a stippling brush like this. And I love, love this colour. Um, this is great for adding that flushed warmth in the spring and summer months. Because you know when you're tanned and you kind of have that like rosy terracotta-y color to the skin like with your cheeks when you flush it worked really well because in the pan it looks a bit ominous doesn't it but i feel like it's just a really universal shade on my type of skin tone because it's got that plummy richness that also works really well in autumn and winter because i gravitate more to these shades at that time of year and then in the summer it's kind of like I want to look like flushed and sun-kissed or more of a pop of pink, but it's just so versatile. And obviously because I'm less tanned now, it just has a completely different look on the skin, but I just think it's beautiful and it's also really natural. But I always take it upwards, which lifts my face, and then I pop like the excess that's left on the brush, like, across my nose but look at that for a base because i want you to see megan trainer then are you singing it because it's in my head now <laughs> um but i just feel like also this blends so nicely with my contour and it just looks really pretty on the skin i just think it's really quite lovely um so that is my base and what you could easily do now and what i honestly wish i could do right now but i can't because it's a work day you know just put a tiny bit of mascara on and a bit of like maybe brow glue just to set the brows in place and you'd be good to go but i'm going to try a little bit harder for you um and i'm going in now with the charlotte tilbury pillow talk instant eye palette like fun fact i actually used this on my wedding day because i did my own makeup on my wedding day and you can probably tell which shades i used the most of at the time because it was these three here and a touch of this one i remember that so clearly i'm gonna go in with this shade here from the date selection so you see across the bottom there are different like you know sections and it's kind of charlotte's idea of you know you might wear one for daytime which i actually used to get married in uh, one for desk at work one for date and one for dream i don't use the dream as much because it's very very like pinky toned and 
I mean, I don't spend a lot of time dreaming to be honest, but the lighter shade from the Date palette is a nice sort of warm toned neutral. And I am just going to add that into my crease to begin with. And it's gonna look a bit scary, but we're gonna blend it out, so don't worry. So I want it on my crease and then also on my outer lid. And this is just gonna kind of sculpt my eye a little bit and warm things up but we're not going too heavy because i don't want to <laughs> i always feel so weird when i'm filming these videos because mark is in his office which is like through there and he must just listen to me effectively talking to myself and it must be so strange now i've got a fluffy brush here and i'm just gonna blend I'm gonna blend 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 and just soften that out so you can see that's blended that's not that looks a bit cat eye -y. this is just like a soft smokiness almost like a bit of eye contour oh guys you know that feeling when you're poorly and all you want to do is go to bed but you're a grown-up so you can't that is where i'm at today i'm able to eat again but i feel a bit sickly and I'm congested and have a sore throat now, so I'm on three plus, which is helping, but whatever I have is foul. Um, next up, I'm going to go in with one of the Bobbi Brown Shadow Sticks. Now, again, that they've sent this to me, and I do have quite a few of them. Um, and I'm finding these really, really nice to have a go with. This one is in the shade Moonstone. So it's really light but what's quite nice about them is kind of you just draw them on and then you just give them a little smudgy smudge with the thing with a finger and you sort it so that's the difference with it on and without it on and it's just a really pretty shimmery color and um i brought it into my tear duct as well just to brighten that area up a little bit because i don't look great do i today let's be honest that's my eyes done now another thing i'm going to do is actually on my waterline I'm just going to run this along my waterline as well because it will open my eyes up a little bit more and brighten them up a little bit and lord knows I need that. <laughs> Next up I'm going in with the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick and this is in the shade Deepest brown um, I go through phases of liking black on me and then preferring brown um, honestly I think my time of the month has something to do with it you know when you get really insecure about yourself and you do one and you hate everybody and you're just like Ugh, all the time and um, I also happen to think that I am the ugliest person to ever have worked this earth um, and um, it does not do wonders for my self-esteem and <laughs> I question everything but what I'm going to do is basically just line my upper lash line so that's my eyeliner done and i'm weirdly gonna just quickly switch to my brows i'm using the got to be like it's a brow glue it's for hair so if you ever do a slip back bond get this in your life because you can comb back your hairs into place as well um a slip back bun is not a look for me uh, it doesn't suit me at all but i do like it for my brows i have had my brows laminated um obviously that the immediate effects last for a few weeks and then they are just easier to control from then on in um but i don't like mine super super big um so i kind of have them laminated where they go up a little bit and then they go out but already if i brush through one brow you can see it kind of like lifts my face so i'm just going to comb this through and the reason why i'm doing this now is because that can set while i do my mascara because you don't want to be going in with brown product straight away because it's just still gloopy and a bit messy but as you can see i'm just combing them through and kind of just perfecting their shape a little bit and now i'm going to go in with mascara and this is the is it l'oreal lash paradise and um, i have this in a brown black brown i feel like it's softer 
um, and in a way it makes my eyelashes look thicker. So this is before and that's one coat and I normally do one coat on both and then go back and do a second. I like thick lashes and they're really long at the moment because I've been using a serum on them and I just feel like it makes them easier to look good. I am not a false lash girl, false lash girl at all because they irritate the hell out of me so I just feel like a good mascara and a bit of patience to get the shape that you want and a few coats that will do me nicely. So that's my lashes done. I'm gonna go in with a bit of highlighter because I completely forgot about it. This is the Coco by Chloe Cosmetics. Look at the state of it. It's battered. It'll be like, I admit the packaging wasn't the best, but she's discontinued this now because she does so well with her um, marshmallow sponges instead. But I really love it. It's like a shimmery champagne gold. So if you want to find something similar that's the kind of tone that you're looking for now this just goes to show how much eyebrows make a face i'm gonna go in with the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade or pomade don't know how you say it i like to add a tiny spritz of setting spray to this just because over time and you can tell i do love it um it does dry out a wee bit so i kind of put it in and like mix it a bit like kind of like a watercolor <laughs> for my eyebrows and then i'm just going to go in and sort of thicken them up a bit really because the shape's there but they're quite fair for my general skin tone so that's one side done and then this side obviously isn't and I just feel like this side just looks a bit more lifted and I just, I love doing my brows. I'm going to do the other one and then I'll be back. And that's my brows done and now I'm going to go in with my lips. So I have the Doll Beauty You Go Girl Lip Liner and My Love Lipstick. They came in a duo um you could choose yourself and i went for these two and i love them Um, obviously i feel like i can kind of give testament to that because this is so little now and i've used a fair bit of the lipstick so i'm just gonna line them see what i've done i've lined them and then i've brought the color into here and up a bit but i'm leaving the center unlined if that makes sense and then the top and then I'm just smudging with my finger to kind of blend that into my lip a little bit now with the lipstick. And then that is basically my finished look. So I'm going to setting spray. Oh, that's the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless one. It's so good. I know that others are said to be dupes and I've tried them. They're not the same in my opinion. Like there are some good dupes out there but they're not the same. And I love the smell of that one and I just prefer the way it makes my makeup look afterwards. Um, but that is essentially my finished look and I'm going to quickly curl my hair and maybe put some earrings in and then that will be me done for the day so that is my hair done it's very curly at the moment and it will drop throughout the day especially <laughs> i hope this bit drops because i'm looking a bit um it's a bit princess die style that isn't it <laughs> today i don't know what's happened there um but i like it when it's a loose curl but just unfortunately this is how it starts but it won't take long um and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i have faked it now i need to make it and um yeah thank you so much for watching if you are interested in damasca by the way there will be a discount code on here again on screen now and also in the description box i personally think you should give it a go if you think it's something that you would benefit from for me i wanted to even out my skin texture and like the color of my skin and then also kind of have a bit of anti-aging go on in there and i'm really really pleased i'm still a customer anyway so i'm on my second month now um, and i'm quite excited to see how it progresses because normally you get your best results by like the four to six month mark so fingers crossed thank you so much for watching and i will hopefully see you all very very soon take care of yourselves and have a lovely day